Hello everyone, I am Sai Chitan here. Welcome to Sai Taker. In this video, I am going to uh, tell you my review of the Poco X2 phone after using more than uh, Android days. So it's been a very long uh, journey, I can say, with this uh, Poco X2 phone. So in this video, I will be covering all the aspects like uh, battery, display, performance, uh, fingerprint unlocking, face ID, or so did I get regular updates or not, camera and everything I'll be covering A to Z on the Poco X2. So always my journey to this uh, usage. So in case if you're planning to buy this kind of Poco X2 phone right now, then this video will be very, very helpful for you all. And if you uh, want to know what notch wallpapers I am right now, I'm using in my phone, try to check the links in description for the playlist of wallpapers. So even you can find the playlist for this uh, Poco X2 phone. So where uh, you will be having plenty of videos which I have already uploaded on the POCO X2. So try to check out the links in description for the playlist. As you can see there are more than 200 videos only on the POCO X2 which I have uploaded. So that will give you exactly a clear idea about the phone whether to buy or not. So uh, first thing let me uh, talk about the battery of the phone so phone has a 4500 mAh of capacity and the charging speed is very good so uh, there's no problem with the charging speed i think it takes close to uh, 70 minutes of uh, charging speed to complete full charge from 0 to 100 percentage so no issues with that and uh, regarding the battery i do get a uh, screen on time close to i think 5 to 7 hours of screen on time in the in this phone so let me show you the statistics as well how much uh, screen on time i got right now so as you can see 2 hours and 54 minutes for the 55 percentage so right now we are having the 55 percentage and here is the battery statistics so i do play a little bit kind of gaming as well so i think about 30 minutes of gaming and youtubing as well so this using with the 4g uh, sim in the poco x2 phone so as i said i usually get uh, close to 5 to uh, 7 hours of screen on time and next, these with a 120 hertz refresh rate using. So if you use 60 hertz, then you definitely get. But most of the time, I'll use only with the 120 hertz for this kind of smooth and animations uh, to experience uh, every day. So definitely, if you are having the Poco X2, try to use with the 120 hertz to uh, actually enjoy the phone. That the 120 hertz should be the main reason of uh, buying the phone for the most of the users. Then definitely you need to keep it turned on. So by uh, changing to the 60 hertz you might get uh, maybe one hour extra but uh, for me um, i'll be back by the end of the day so i don't need uh, to be saving the battery throughout the day so i just want the overall experience to be much faster and fluent so for me i uh, don't keep it 60 hertz so overall 120 hertz battery is good and decent screen on time 5 to 7 hours charging time 70 minutes so these are the everything about the battery battery thing and using the 4g the phone doesn't heat as well though right now i'm using the single sim 4g so our phone did not heat at all uh, while normal uh, browsing and going to the gmail and while playing games initial uh, initial days there was a few eating issues but later with the up updates uh, it got fixed and regarding the updates i do receive every uh, every month uh, one security update in the in this phone uh, real, sorry uh, poco x2 phone in terms of security update so in regarding updates it's pretty good and uh, even the performance was uh, pretty good from the beginning as well no problem at all as you can see right now i'm using uh, plenty of applications i think more than Android applications I have installed in my phone and working pretty smooth uh, without any problem. The phone is fast as uh, the day one of it is. So that is a good advantage with the 120 hertz smooth, uh, very smooth kind of experience you do get in this phone. And regarding the display, the display has a IPS LCD panel and here uh, in, in the beginning I did not like much about the IPS LCD panel but in the in the Poco X2 there is an option of uh, color boosting which is present so that using that color boosting option definitely you can achieve this kind of good uh, good colors like amulet type colors. So I did plenty of videos on the Poco X2 uh, color boosting how you can do that then definitely try to uh, use those color boost techniques in the Poco X2 and to achieve the good results. So overall in terms of the display I am also uh, happy with that because of having the color boost option enabled. And uh, next thing is regarding the fingerprint. So fingerprint location is on the side near the power button as you can see which is also pretty fast and I did not have any problem. Even the face ID also pretty fast as you can see right now. 
it's a uh, very fast so no issues with the face id or no issues with the fingerprint from the beginning so uh next is uh regarding the camera so regarding the camera also i am overall um good about the camera so there is no negative point about the camera till now i have noticed so i'm not in the much photography field so uh, i cannot give much uh information about the camera but overall in my usage i did not feel any uh lag while taking the uh images or anything uh unknown bugs so overall these are the complete information regarding the poco x2 phone still right now if you're thinking to buy the phone for the gaming then definitely you can buy this phone but for media and entertainment purpose there are other phones which are available so definitely i'll be doing another review on that as well but for gaming trust me this phone is a best phone uh, in this kind of price range segment and that's it for this video for more videos do subscribe to my channel and also do check the playlist also for the poco x2 so which will be very very helpful for you all so see you in the next video until then bye